Hello, advisory committee. Um, I will try to be brief. Thank you for your time. As always, I do appreciate it. Um, so here's just a quick uh, state of the class address and um, also a couple of very brief questions and then we have a treat for you at the end. So without further ado, um, our club is, is doing quite well this year. We have good numbers and good investment. Um, we participated in the parade. We've had a, a recruitment booth already. We've had multiple meetings where, um, well, that'll come in a minute. Uh, one day there was a dress as your teacher day. So that was a lot of fun. Um, Matt Jacquees, who is one of the people on the uh, committee, he uh, uh, introduced me to Morgan Smith, who is the lead graphic designer for the Auburn University Athletics Department. And uh, I got to go job shadow for a full uh, work day where they did a photo shoot with the athletics team. And it was inspirational. It was uh, revolutionary for our program. It was great. And so we're trying to kind of employ some of the things that we've learned. Our equipment is a little makeshift, but we're looking to upgrade our equipment based on what we learned from that job shadowing day. So uh, long story short, some of our club meetings, uh, we've started to kind of partner a little bit with another club or two and with athletics and we'll probably move forward into theatrics as well but uh, we've had photo shoots um, so far with football captains with boys and girls cross country teams with some softball players and I want to say some the flag football team also so they'll come up we'll have music and cookies and um, our club will be here or at least the, the ones who are available at the time and uh, just have a kind of a day out of it and um, the the students will then turn these into social media edits and um, more than ever this year our class has our hands in uh, the Instagram accounts uh, for and we we kind of tag team these with the uh, mass media uh, club they started this we've kind of joined in with them but um, the Auburn high school um, football team the athletics department um, cross country and, and again moving forward to some other sports as well so we'll uh, help with their Instagram accounts and the students are working on um, and all these began as the the studio shots the students are working on relevant projects that get out into the community and and get real eyeballs on them and uh, they always have the option to um, design things just for a grade that only I will see but typically they prefer to design things that will go out into the community on social media and things like that and so um, if you do not know we are number one in the state in 7A. We're undefeated. We're very, very good. And so the students each week, there will be multiple options for posters, <laughs> excuse me, that say game day and that say usually Auburn wins. We, we almost always expect to win now. And so we do like to be ready, especially in particular games, just in case with a poster that says like, you know, great, great game or um, that'll say something like Auburn family. But usually there's a W or a, you know Auburn wins involved or something like that, and so um, the students are learning to make templates of their own artwork, which is what um, Matt Jacquees and Morgan Smith from Auburn University uh, seem to recommend. Um, they they establish their own design as a template, and then can use that template to make uh, tweaked modifications of said design, and have um, you know uh, like, like a theme, a cohesive theme. Uh, among their designs. So here's an example. One student made this and then made this. So it's, it's you know, they're the same, but they're also different. And uh, the, the, what other high schools are doing, we found out they're actually hiring out to professional design firms. And the design firms are good and they're giving uh, these other high schools a good template package. But for our students, it's just great learning experience to, um, to be able to come up with their own template and their own design package. And and to um, you know get their stuff out into the public we also are um, super loaded this year artistically there's some really really talented students here's a fun uh, silly coxa doodle do um, here's one with me fighting my uh, mortal enemy there's some other really really good ones I just don't have time to share um, but they also <laughs> like to make relevant things for this too so our uh, Auburn High School basketball coach he will occasionally see a design that he likes of a tiger but it's, of course it's copyrighted by like a university or something like that. Memphis University had one they liked. And so he uh, will come up here and a student will, will draw things based on his requests. And so uh, this is not, you know, copyrighted by some national entity. This was drawn by someone on row two um, based on what the coach told her he wanted. Here's another. Um, and again, these were, uh, you know, drawn in house. Uh, here's another. I hope you can uh, see it's 
It's got a, the face of a tiger on the inside. There's an eye and a nose in there. Um, and, you know, the students have a lot of creative artistic liberty, but they also have creative artist liberty within the framework and confines of the client's needs, which is really good learning experience for them. So they can't be just totally willy-nilly because they have a client that requested a particular thing. Um, having said that, the client is usually less artistically talented than the student, so the student needs to, you know, put some of uh, themselves into it. Um, one example, Yarbrough Elementary's principal, he uh, requested that we design a t-shirt uh, for a fundraiser. And uh, this is one example. We don't know which one won. There's so many options that he'll have. Um, the student uh, hand drew or hand wrote each of these words that says Yarbrough Elementary School is Dino Might, which is the theme, uh, D-I-N-O as in dinosaur dash might. Um, the student probably would not have um, gone with the colors that she went with had she had her own complete free range but based on the client's needs decisions have to be made and things like that and so anyway long story short they're they're getting to work with clients and so um full disclosure i actually added some of the hideous colors on this one it was probably better looking before i added the colors to it but uh based on some things you know we want to please the clients and things like that so anyway um here uh is uh, okay here's the thing if i could get uh either approval or disapproval on this um, officially that'd be great if you wouldn't mind just responding so um same as last year kind of meat and potatoes um the program of work um i have matt jacquees jenny hunt and greg key on um the uh the the line that says that you will um, let me know if you know of any local entity who could use voluntary graphic design or artwork. And so if you can think of a, you know, um, small magazine, a small local uh, restaurant or some type of business, an upstart um, local chain or something like that, that could use some voluntary graphic design, the students love doing things like that, um, the, you know, just for social media or whatever. And then I've got um, David Smith and Elizabeth Hildreth for if you know of or are willing to uh, come in and be a guest speaker. But really, I mean, honestly, either of these would apply to all of you. Um, if any of you can think of someone that the students can do actual voluntary graphic design for, please let me know. And same, if you're willing to come in as a guest speaker or if you know of someone who could come in as a guest speaker for our club, that'd be appreciated. Um, if you wouldn't mind officially, you know, letting me know if you approve of this or disapprove um, or recommend any modifications, please let me know. Um, and as per usual, we have t-shirt options and you can pick and let me know which one you want and what size. Uh, again, thank you for your time. This one uh, you may have seen before. It says, if you read it out loud quickly, be topa like a, be topa like a, be topa like a. And so um, there's that option. This is the unit, which is our student section. Um, we just have a few extras of these shirts. My personal favorite is the College Town High School shirt. You just let me know which shirt you want and what size. Um, so again, all we need from you guys, other than which shirt you choose and what size, if you wouldn't mind letting me know um, if you approve of our program of work and if you um, can just uh, let me know if you have any recommendations for guest speakers or um, more voluntary uh, relevant design options for the students. Uh, we kept it to under nine minutes. Thank you for your time. I appreciate that.